as you do more and more SQL, you're going to eventually go, Tom, that select list, it's easy. And the from after that, that's easy, Tom. You know, that where clause can get a little tricky in there. And I go, exactly. Here you're going to be stepping it up again with me. Come on. And you can see here, we want to know where the class codes equal to freshman and the first names equal to Henry. Both of those conditions have to happen before that row comes back on the report. Here's one of my favorite mistakes. I've made this a few times on the old programming table and you slap yourself when you're done. Look at this. I want everything from the student table where the class code equals 3-0 and the class code equals 4-0. That's not possible. You see, when you come home with your report card and mom goes, what'd you get? You don't go, I got a 3-0 and a 4-0. Which one? You get a 3-0 or a 4-0. So if you have the same actual column, grade point equals 3-0 and grade point equals 4-0, no rows are going to come back. This isn't going to error. You're just going to get nothing back on the report. Now we've got it right. We'll use not an and, but an or, where grade point equals 3-0 or grade point equals 4-0. And as you can see, a couple of rows came back because they had either a 3-0 or a 4-0 in their grade point. Here's another mistake. Believe me, I made them all. Where you say, listen, I want to know where the grade points equal to 3-0 or 4-0. Now, you would think that the, the system could handle that, but it cannot. Because, you know, you could say where the grade point equals 3-0 or first name equals Henry. So it needs you to qualify the column each time. So the only way this would work is if I said where grade point equals 3-0 or grade point equals 4-0. Remember that. Here's the perfect SQL. Well, maybe not perfect. Where grade point equals 3-0 or grade point equals 4-0. I would probably format that and put that OR word on the next line. And that's the way I like to do my keywords. Select, from, where, OR, AND, order by. All my keywords usually start on the direct left, but it doesn't make any difference. You can write it in one line if you want, but this is proper syntax. I made a little mistakey here. Come on, nobody's perfect, man. Take a look at this. I want you to spot the error. Go with what I taught you. Well, it does say where grade point equals 3-0, and class code equals senior, there's the problem. It doesn't have single quotes around senior, which is character data. It's going to error. We've perfected this now because we've got our single quotes in there. You see, this is the beauty of SQL. When I was programming back in the early 80s, we were typing on Hollerith cards. You got all of your cards wrapped up in a rubber band and you handed them in to the actual IT programming shop and said, run this. And if there was an error, it came back in the afternoon. You got one more chance to run it then. SQL, you can try it. If it doesn't work, you debug it, put your quotes in, you run it again. It takes a couple of seconds. That's what I love about SQL. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need a query tool that makes joins easy? The Nexus has a join builder that turns the most complex joins into child's play. The Nexus Query Chameleon, making connections easy again. Visit coughingdw.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.